Ever thought about the role of the National Guard in the United States? Today, we will explore that and more. The United States National Guard is a unique entity that serves as a reserve military force. Composed of individual units from each state and territory, the Guard is a vital part of our nation's defense and emergency response capabilities. But here's where it gets interesting. The National Guard serves a dual role. It functions as a state militia, under the command of each state or territory's governor, ready to respond to local emergencies, natural disasters, and civil unrest. Simultaneously, it stands as a reserve component of the United States Armed Forces, under the President's command, ready to support active duty military forces during times of national emergency. This unique structure allows the National Guard to be versatile and adaptable, making it an invaluable asset in our nation's defense strategy. The National Guard's unique structure allows it to respond to both state and national emergencies. The National Guard has evolved significantly over time. Let's dive into that journey. From its roots as a state militia, the National Guard has grown to encompass two major branches, the Army National Guard and the Air National Guard. It has served in every major American conflict from the Revolutionary War to the Global War on Terror. Meanwhile, the Air National Guard flying high in the sky is a relatively newer addition, born out of the technological advancements of the 20th century. They provide critical air support and engage in combat and rescue operations. Together, these branches offer a comprehensive defense strategy, operating both on land and in the air, ready to respond to emergencies and conflicts at home and abroad. The evolution of the National Guard has enabled it to serve both on the ground and in the air. Now you might be wondering, what exactly does the National Guard do? Well, it's a two-sided coin. On one side, you have state responsibilities. Think of your National Guard units as the superheroes of their respective states, stepping in during emergencies like hurricanes, floods, wildfires, and civil disturbances. They're the ones you can count on for assistance when disaster strikes. They can also be called upon to bolster law enforcement during times of crisis. Flip the coin, and you have federal responsibilities. That's when the National Guard transforms into a global force supporting the active duty military and combat operations overseas. They're also involved in homeland defense, disaster response, and humanitarian missions on a national scale. So whether it's lending a hand during a flood in Florida or engaging in combat operations in far off lands, the National Guard is always there, always ready. Whether at home or abroad, the National Guard stands ready to serve. So how does the National Guard prepare for these responsibilities? Well, it starts with rigorous training, National Guard members undergo a regimen similar to their active duty counterparts. This includes basic training and specialized instruction tied to their military occupational specialties. Stand ready to be dispatched both within our borders and on the international stage. Domestically, they might assist with disaster relief, law enforcement support, or border security. Internationally, they could be deployed in combat zones or to support peacekeeping operations. The chain of command is vital to the National Guard's operation. At the state level, the governor serves as the commander-in-chief, while at the federal level, the president takes the helm when units are federalized, operating under the authority of the U.S. Department of Defense. From training to deployment, the National Guard is a vital part of our nation's defense strategy.